Hello Taurus, welcome to Truth Well Told Tarot. This is Andrea and I'm here to do your weekly tarot reading for the sign of Taurus, Sun, Moon, Rising and Venus and it will be from the 26th of April to the 2nd of May 2021. So I hope you well. Let's get straight into your reading and pull your angel card for the week. So what do we have for Taurus please? Angels, spirits, guides, message for our lovely Taurians. Thank you for the week. Okay, interesting. This card is coming out quite a bit this week, which is interesting. These cards are going together, Taurus. So we have wait, get more information. So for some of you, before you take action or make a decision, there is definitely an energy of wait, get more information here. Okay, so I'm going to pull three cards. And then we'll clarify, go deeper into the message, as we always do, you know, by now. And it won't resonate with everybody, Taurus. So just take what resonates with you. Okay. Message for Taurus, please, for the week. Message for Taurus for the week. Thank you. Yeah, we have Three of Swords and Temperance. Six of Wands is advice from Spirit and your near future outcome. We have the Seven of Swords. So let's clarify, go deeper into the message for Taurus. Message for Taurus, please, angels, spirits, guides. Can we clarify the cards on the table for Taurus, please? Okay, so we have the Queen of Wands. Mm. Six of Wands. Oh, yeah. You know, this, this message is coming loud and clear here. Um, Seven of Swords, the Fool. Bottom of the deck, we have the Six of Pentacles. Okay, Taurus, so the message that I'm getting here, in, you know, let's start with these cards. The Three of Swords can be to do with, it can be to do with emotional pain, a difficult truth that has cut you deeply. But in the, in the challenge position, it can be about releasing from this, releasing from a painful situation. But that temperance energy is you don't have all the answers yet. You don't have all the answers on how you need to align, how you need to move forward. And that's doubly clarified with the Queen of Wands, which is generally all about action. She is somebody who trusts her intuition to take calculated action, calculated decisions, choices. She's an empowering energy. She takes control of a situation. She is in her power. But in this energy where it's in the challenge position, it's kind of like, it just feels like now is not the time to take action. Yeah. Now you could be dealing with an Aries. I mean, Queen of Wands is generally Aries for me. Can be Leo Sagittarius um, Aries as well. Um, or somebody who represents that energy, somebody who's generally, you know, very magnetic, go-getting, full of energy, uh, action, successful, you know, that kind of energy, sociable as well. But I, I definitely feel in this energy, now is not the time to take action. Your instinct is telling you something here. Your instinct is telling you it just doesn't feel right to deal with something right now. So, and again, there is temperance, 
which is about patience as well. There is patience here with this temperance energy. Patience in how you move forward, how you adapt, how you uh, re-establish that balance, you know, find your flow again. And it feels like there's an energy of you. It's going to happen. You know, the Six of Wands is somebody who claims a victory, who claims an achievement here. By putting a difficult situation behind them, by putting it, uh, and it feels it's to do with the Three of Swords, whatever caused you emotional pain, hurt, can be heartbreak, yeah, betrayal, you know, I mean, there's levels to the card. Um, so you will be able to put this behind you, but something needs to happen here. There's, it feels like there's patience here. Be patient. Patient with yourself or patient in some way. It feels like you need to get more information. And there is an energy of just wait. Be patient. Everything in moderation right now. Because the Fool can represent that new beginning, but that Seven of Swords is I don't have clarity on how I need to move forward. It's a moon energy. I, I, have, I don't have clarity in terms of how I need to move forward. And you know, when you don't have clarity and we take action, uh, just because we feel we need to take action, we can self-sabotage. Yeah, so it, it feels for some of you, some of you are wanting to take a leap of faith, wanting to take action, wanting to act spontaneously in a situation. But there's a feeling of, of don't act rashly because it's almost kind of like you don't see the big picture in this situation. And there needs to be clarity brought to the situation before you take action here. Now, this is Taurus energy. So we have the six of pentacles, which can be about giving and receiving. And you know that pentacles energy can be to do with detail, information, facts of situations. So it might well be that for some of you, you need to receive more information or there could be some conversation or there could be some exchange here. Yeah, some kind of exchange here that's needed before you make some kind of decision. And this might well be that Six of Pentacles where you need to get more information that will bring clarity to the situation, that will make you understand how you need to move forward. Uh, but it, it, feels, it feels for some of you, you just need more information right now. And I feel this is about getting that information. Okay, Taurus, so I'm going to pull the final card. Final message for Taurus, please. That flew out. <laughs> so we have Leafcutter and the Army of Life. Ask for help, seek support. You are not alone. I'm going to pull one more for you. And we have, yeah, Otter initiations be open through this transitional time and do what that otter is doing and just surrender and go with the flow and there's a level of, of patience that's needed uh, before you understand how you need to take action to finally put and it feels like what has been a hurtful situation behind you so I hope you enjoy the reading Taurus if you did please do like share and subscribe I hope it's a wonderful week for you all and I will see you next time thank you